Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's have a look at going to File here and New Panorama, which is made up of stitching a whole bunch of images together. And you can do this by taking a camera and just shooting just straight in front of you and turning your body for each shot. Good thing to do is to make each photograph half overlap the next one. Give it plenty of, of space. Don't try to just edge to edge. Also with your camera, take a meter reading, set it up, then make it manual, focus and um, non-automatic so that the exposure and focus is the same for every photograph. The software can't correct for that quite obviously. Anyway, so when you get new panorama, file new panorama, this is what we get. We click on add here and we then get our photographs here. Let's view this as large pictures and you can see here there's a sequence of pictures going on to take this. Click one and then shift click to the next one. This is in Malta. And then we want to stitch the panorama. So we click on stitch and this is going to take a while so I will skip to the end. So here we go, here's the panorama so we click OK for that and here it is and it says render panorama which means it's now going to think about doing this. As you can see here there's a lots of overlapping images. What it's doing now is figuring out how it can make those those overlaps completely invisible. And there you go, it's done it. So here's our, our picture overall. Um, this is actually an inter intermediate state. This is sort of like a secret persona in the way that up here you've got the you know the photo liquify develop and so on up here. None of those are highlighted because we're in this intermediate uh, place now we've got different tools and generally the tools here are to move things around so this is the hand tool you can just move it the uh, zoom and these here which allow you to tweak it we're going to do that editing in another video because it's going to take a little bit more time and you can crop it here I seldom do I would and what I would normally do because it's usually pretty good at this I'll just hit apply and it will go through to the persona here. So now we're in the normal photo persona. Here we can do corrections and what I'm going to do here is first of all I can go to the perspective tool, turn off the grid here, straighten the horizon. See that's a bit high there. Rather than try to rotate things because this is nice and vertical here already, I'm just going to pull the bottom down until it's fairly straight. There we go, that's about it. We could put a guideline across, but that's okay. And then we want to crop out things or use in painting. So if I come down here, yeah, I can just make it within there because I don't want to crop the top of that tower off. So I can apply that and go upwards a bit here. And we don't need all that C over there, just a crap to there is enough. And apply that. And there you go. There is our finished, for now, if I want to do other colour editing as usual, our panorama. So thank you very much for watching.